Saidi with red tape. Sami Antar with blue. Those are the numbers up on screen. Incredible height differential between these two. But just look at the power of Osama Al Saidi. So from the Netherlands, originally from Tunisia, Sami Antar takes on Desert Force champion Osama El Saidi from Egypt. I'm looking forward to this matchup, Will. Very much so. I think uh, Sami needs to keep this range and the distance. He has very good striking, obviously, coming hailing from Holland. And uh, Al Saidi is definitely going to try and get inside that range. Deo straight away looks for a shot. He's going to keep driving. That's to keep driving to the cage. Gets a takedown, possibly. Good wizard here, controlled by Sami Anta, trying to prevent that takedown. Good spooling out by Sami Anta, trying to keep his hips out. Got a good pressure on the neck, but look at the power. It's the power bar. I see there's a big difference here. Just basically ragdoll Sami Anta to the floor. He's locked in there in half guard, but the power Osama El Saidi brings to this incredible, beautiful twist out of that headlock there. And he's on top now, trying to ground and pound, but that's a long way up, isn't it? Because uh, Sami Antar coming in at that height, incredible. Standing at uh, 196 centimeters, but trying to power through some shots now. He's doing the right job. He's got his underhook here. He's got to try and keep turning and going to it, maybe down to a single leg, but he's leaving his head a little bit exposed here. And like I say, he's just getting ragdolled at the moment by the power. He needs to try and weather this storm, if he can. Antar taking too many shots here, he's hurt. And I have to say that Osama El Saidi starts this round really incredibly furiously. Antar taking shots and uh, glowing red around the head. But back to the upright and, uh, well, big, big shots being thrown by El Saidi. Yeah, also he's throwing some heavy lever, but he's got to be careful not to gas himself out. He's got to take a better shot than that. He needs to set him up. Sammy is going to be aware of that now. Keep his distance. Now, just a reminder that uh, our referee for this bout, a man that's probably known to all MMA aficionados everywhere, Mr. Mark Goddard. But the heavy hands now of Al Saidi starting to land as he powers his way through. Sammy Antar right back up on the wire. Well, there was a, an attempt at a takedown that looked as if it might be useful, but battled and defended well by Sami Antar. Yeah, it was a good attempt there, but it's really hard to actually get that sort of takedown against a lot of taller opponent. You know, but he's used that to go to the good little transition there. Swift now he's caught in a fun headlock. Can he peek out? He's doing the right thing, building up. He needs to try and clear the hand grip, protect his neck. He's got to protect his neck here as well. Antar drops down now, stretches out, tries to pull his man on. But just look at the power of Al Saidi. He just marches through and stands up. But this could be a trouble zone now. And uh, Antar looking to lock in, but he slipped the headlock and he's free. Yeah, his neck was in a teeny bit of danger, but I thought he would have been safe because he was passed through to a uh, uh, half guard, which now he's looked to get past. But it's a bit already a bit of a grueling uh, back and forth fight. You know, a lot of the energy has been uh, extended here. Al Saidi trying to get some purchase on the back, but Sami Antar, well, not giving it up easily. Look at him power up, and he takes his man down. That was sweet, wasn't it, from that position? Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of scramble here. Really tough, still both of them tussed in position. He's got him maybe a guillotine choke, but Sami Antar's doing the right thing to lead the pressure. It may be hard to finish that. He's raising high, but he's really, really constricting his neck here. Well, Mark Goddard looking very closely. That lock is on and the legs are hooked in. Antar in submission territory. He's still trying to defend it. And as you say, Brad, pushing up the uh, buttocks high and spreading the legs, but he's hanging on. Osama El Saidi not giving up the neck at all. He's doing the right thing. He's putting the pressure in. He's levering the other pressure around his neck by getting his right hand in. I think he's going to weather the storm here. He just needs it to make it a little bit more safe for him. He needs to try and turn to it to his left side to raise um, Saidi's elbow against uh, up in the uh, up in the air, and uh, that will leave a lot more pressure as well. But at the moment, I think he's a bit safe at the moment. Well, Saidi not giving up on this anytime soon. Just look at the power going through those arms there. He's got quite good purchase on the neck, hasn't he? But he hasn't quite got the leverage and the position right. I have to say, this is very, very dangerous for Sami Antar, especially against a champion like 
Osama El Saidi. He's not looking to give that lock up anytime soon. Yeah, but he's going to be very careful. El Saidi can easily gas his arms out here. I believe the longer this goes on in his position, the less likely he is to finish it. Antar defending it. Mark Goddard looking on very, very closely. Now he's doing the right job now. He's getting a bit of shoulder pressure here, making it uncomfortable for El Saidi. Really good uh, um, defense here by, by Sami Antar. He, he was in a dangerous position to start off with, but I believe he's weathered the storm more than once in this round. Well, we're just on the 10 second clapper. So the clock's against Al Saidi finishing this. Trying to put leverage on, trying to get the tap out, but you're right. As always, Brad, and the longer this went on, the less chance of it happening. What an explosive first round we have in this, our second fight on the main card. It'd be definitely, be, I'd be interested to see how much that's taken out of uh, El Saidi. You see him walking back to his corner very, very, you know, tired here. You know, taking some advice from his corner already in his control, he's breathing, where I, I believe that take, took more out of him that round than he did Sami Anta, even though I believe Sa uh, El Saidi definitely won that round. So Good action here. Yeah, just looking at the action, the tail of the tape here, we just see how El Saidi manages to get that uh, guillotine headlock on. He drops back, throws the guard up and around. Antar did well, didn't he? Yeah, he, I mean, he's very experienced. Like I say, he's only 3 no, but he has been training for a very long time. Obviously, his last fight was back in 2012, but he'd been training a lot before that. You know, um, he suffered a lot of injuries throughout his uh, uh, small career, which made him sit out on the sidelines for a long time. But with doing so, he managed to develop his ground game uh, and also he's striking. He, now he's coaching a lot as well, coaching a lot now back in Netherlands. And sometimes I find when you coach, you get to learn your techniques a bit better because you understand why you're doing them. He's done a great job in defending that killing team. So, a very, very good opening round for Osama El Saidi, it has to be said. So, Antar may have weathered the worst of the storm, but uh, has El Saidi got more in store? And has uh, Antar got a rabbit to pull out of the hat? Because at this stage, it has to be said that uh, El Saidi is the more creative and uh, the more adventurous and the more relaxed of these two fighters. Round two of a scheduled three. Antar runs to the job here, to the centre of the ring. Tries to throw in some heavy hands here. Yeah, he's, trying, he's doing a good job trying to keep on the end of his punches. Good low kick there. Throwing with both hands now, El Saidi landing there with that left. But being caught by Antar with the right. So they're throwing leather, trying to look for that opportunity, that split second timing. Good solid left hook we're seeing from El Saidi. Yeah, he, he's a bit telegraphing some of his shots here now, missing by a, a country mile. Antar coming straight in through the front door, straight shot, trying to land an El Saidi, was, that was made easy for yeah, him. He's done a good job going straight down to the ankle, but now he's Sami Yun doing a good job of defending this. I believe, obviously, a man of El Saidi, he saw parry, he could maybe muscle like he did in the first round, but he may have run out of the, uh, our gas now to finish this. He's doing a good job, though. Good hustling here, he managed to get his man down to the mat. So Antar closes that guard, and Osama El Saidi has to try and drive through, but up comes the leg, and this is danger territory now. Tries to get it up for a triangle. He was doing a good job uh, trying to get, get a rubber guard, trying, trying to control the posture of um, El Saidi. He's trying to do it again, maybe, maybe switch over for an omoplata or maybe a triangle. If El Saidi keeps trying to strike with that leg, he could possibly do that. El Saidi now gets a little bit of space, tries to maybe land some heavy shots, but he's working hard. A lot of energy to get where he is. Now he might get some recompense for all that work yeah good job by Sammy to use that case to get back to his feet but at the moment he is in the court in a, in a front headlock but he's not now no break straight on him he's doing a good job here keeping the pressure El Saidi threw up a, a knee strike there didn't land it but uh, El Saidi looking gassed goes for the shoot misses it great sprawl spread there from Sammy Antar 
Yeah, he may, he, he's trying to go for a neck crank here, trying to break his man down. He could go for a Japanese necktie if he knows what one of those are. What is a Japanese necktie, Brad? Can you explain to me? Because it's often confused it's when with had, a baseball When choke. he ha had this choke here, there, all you need to do now is step over with his left leg in between LCD's legs and you turn him down to the canvas and, and it's like a, a, a really uncomfortable neck crank, but also some issue. Oh, well, snapped out of that, but uh, that's a complicated, intricate inside move, isn't it, Brandon? I'm sure lots of us, including myself, have seen it, but not quite worked out how it's imposed and, and what we need to do. So we're seeing a double shot here on our screens, and you're seeing that crank being put on again. And uh, Antar likes that, doesn't he? Because he's uh, trying to apply it now, but he's trying to take advantage of El Saidi giving up his back here. Yeah, he's doing a very good job of surfing around him. Obviously, uh, El Saidi controlling the wrists. I think Mark got a little spot something. Well, Mark Goddard having a word, a stiff word with Sami Antar. He called for the break and a restart, and Antar didn't release. And uh, that's the letter of the law from Mark Goddard, and he said, you break when I say break. And quite right as well. Oh. Solid hands there from El Saidi. Thundering shots. El Saidi looking just a little gassed. Yeah, he is. He's looking very, you know, very fatigued now. Obviously, with man with that man power, that man muscle, you know, it's a good job of, you know, a good. Uh, oh, look, you're looking here now. He's going for, uh, going for a das. It's very slippery as well here. He's slipping all over the place, tussling for position. Antar's ground game really coming to the fore. He's hooked one leg in, trying to find the back, trying to get an arm maybe round the he's neck. Two hooks now, he's going to flatten him out, maybe try and get underneath the neck here. This could be very, very bad territory. For, oh, he's looking in, he's looking in, flatten him out. There's the tap up, Brad. He hooked in and he did it. There's the submission, it's all over. He's a submission there as Sami Antar chokes El Saidi out. Yeah, it was a, a, a really good calculated performance there by uh, Sami Anta. Managed to weather the early storm in the first round. And managed to secure second round submission victory, rear naked joke. Clinical finish there, and you could see it was staged, Brad. As you said, he worked his way through the phases, through the steps, eventually got his man, flattened him out, took advantage, put the hand in, put the choke on, and, uh, well, El Saidi just didn't have enough there to defend it after expending all that energy in the first round. Well, convincing win for Antar. He's back, and El Saidi, well, the face says it all. And he stays unbeaten as well. Absolutely. 4-0. Well, very, very convincing finish there, it has to be said. And uh, chairman and CEO of Phoenix Fighting Championships, Mr. Shahid Yerevenian, to uh, make the presentations. And El Saeed is still on the ground. I think he was very, very gassed by the time that lock came on. And Antar, playing the long game, weathering the storm. I mean, he came under so much pressure, didn't he, in the first round, Brad? Yeah, he did. He did very well to weather that initial storm. But I, I guess he's, he, he felt El Saeedi fading within that fight. Well, if ever there was credence added to the phrase, it ain't over till it's over, you saw it here with that win by Sami Antar here at Phoenix 6.